number everybody is focused on, 117. It is finally over, but for you to see these girls and this team rejoice in this victory, what does that mean for you all? Well, I, I, I hope the girls take confidence from it. It's a good team we just beat tonight. Um, but, you know, part of it is I don't have to answer the questions anymore. But the biggest part of it is we had a packed house tonight, and our girls feel responsible to show up every night that these fans show up. So this one was for the fans and for the Auburn family. What worked so well for this team tonight? Having fun. I mean, we've, we've been pushing so hard. The, the girls are feeling the stress of being, they think they're good, but, you know, sometimes you got to back off and just let it happen, and they finally did that tonight. You guys have had top 10 matchup after top 10 matchup, and for you to finally come in here and have this type of performance, put all four events together, especially in spite of all the injuries that you've had, talk about the resiliency of this team and what they've done, especially here in the middle of the season. Well, I, I don't think I can explain how tough this team is. I don't know if there's any team in the country that could have gone through what we went through with half freshmen in our lineups, uh, you know, a number of injuries in key players, and uh, and come back so quickly and done such a good job. This, this team's just phenomenal, and I think the sky's the limit for us. Talk about the confidence moving forward. How well the timing of this, how perfect is the timing of this as you head into the back half of the season? Well, we, we knew we had to get our butts in gear, so to speak, so the timing's perfect. We, we need to continue to build off this. I think there's still improvements that we can make on tonight, obviously, so you know we'll go back and, and practice hard, and we've, we've got another tough one next Friday.